Hey y'all, it's me again. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> um, okay, so today is um, Wednesday, October 30th. I am still here in Las Vegas. Yay, fun. I'm here again for my job. Um, we just finished up with one of our conferences and yeah, feeling pretty pumped and excited for the future, so this will be fun. Um, so there was some stuff that I I was gonna come back last night and and chat some more after my little walk in Vegas, but I ended up going to a coworker friend's room and chatting for longer than I expected, and I was tired. My roommate was asleep, so I didn't want to wake her up. So, anywho. Um, some of the things, I'm trying to remember exactly what I wanted to say, so I was going to go over a little bit of stats. Um, so in April, I started this whole weight loss journey. Um, I went into the surgeon's office and I was 406 pounds. That was my highest weight that I'd seen on a scale. Now, it could have been more um, than I actually ever weighed, but that's the highest that I had recorded for myself. So. Um, I got pretty depressed and decided to go see a surgeon and see how it was going to go. So she told me, um, the loop DS or the duodenal switch, the duodenal switch, however you want to say it, would be the best option for me because I had a high BMI and some comorbidity issues. Um, one is sleep apnea. I have my little CPAP machine over there. <laughs> quiet. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it, and I'd really like to get off of that. So, um, I haven't been diagnosed with any diabetes or anything like that, so hopefully I don't ever. <laughs> um, I, at my first appointment, I was down a few pounds, and now, it, after my six months or 180 days of supervised diet, I am down about 54 pounds. I am at 352 pounds. So I went and saw my surgeon again for a pre-surgery appointment because I was approved two days after they sent my paperwork into my insurance company. Apparently that's how bad off I am. <laughs> they approved me really, really quickly. So sorry, there's an, there's an airplane. I don't know if you can see it. But. Yeah, well, our airplanes are everywhere. Anyway, um, <laughs> I was able to get some blood drawn. I haven't gotten any results. I don't know if I'll get anything or not. Just, um, I did like eight vials of blood just to check everything, all my levels. So, uh, Monday, two days ago, I started my pre-surgery diet. Um, my pre-surgery diet is, I'm going to sit down because I've been walking around all day. <laughs> And, well, no, I haven't. I've been sitting all day, but <laughs> was, I walked back to my room. So I, huh, um, uh, so it, it's supposed to be one protein shake. For, so uh, for a week, um, two weeks before my surgery, it's a um, protein shake for one of my meals. And then my other two meals are six to eight ounces of something else. I can either have six ounces of cottage cheese and two ounces of fruit or four ounces, no, sorry, that's four ounces of cottage cheese and four ounces of fruit or six ounces of yogurt, non-flavored and all that fun stuff, and two ounces of fruit or four ounces or three, three ounces of either grilled or baked tuna or salmon and four ounces of vegetables or four ounces of vegetables with I think three or four ounces of chicken grilled or you know whatever I had so okay <laughs> so we went last night and I had salmon and I'm pretty sure I probably already mentioned this but I had salmon and my vegetables and my neighbor gave me a couple of her um, mushrooms and I counted those as vegetables because I like mushrooms <laughs> and they were tiny and there wasn't a lot so hopefully that didn't mess me up at all but 
Um, with all the walking around that I've been doing, I have only gotten in, because our conference is a lot of sitting, 4,427 steps today. But again, that's 3,000 more than I do usually on a daily basis because I have a sedentary job and I don't really walk around a lot, which I need to change because even though I'm not eating very many calories the last couple of days, today I um, was in the hotel and we have an hour for lunch and, you know, trying to find something in Vegas that not only I can afford, but that I can also eat that doesn't have a lot of sauce or anything. Um, I went to the Johnny Rockets downstairs, and while waiting in line, I saw that the Panda Express had just regular chicken and mixed steamed vegetables. Oh, and I forgot to mention that. If I have vegetables, they need to be steamed. So, um, they have those vegetables. So, I got in that line, got a couple of ounces of the mushroom chicken and a couple of ounces of the steamed vegetables. And I went back and I ate it. It took me a while because uh, I was trying to kind of make it last because, you know, um, I'm, I'm getting about four to 500 calories a day, which isn't too bad. So uh, I've had a couple of moments where I felt a little less than myself, kind of weak when I stand up. Um, I'm just not used to my body being in kind of a semi-starvation mode. So and with all the walking and everything, exercise, it's just been kind of, eh, you know, uh, here and there. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. <laughs> I Dinner tonight, I have my leftover salmon from last night and vegetables. So I will eat that. And tomorrow night, we are having a fancy schmancy Halloween dinner here at the hotel um, for my... Um, my work and it is a semi-formal masquerade ball with the colors gold or purple so it's gonna be fun I got purple and I got a lot of silver cuz you know I like silver better and I had to match my nails <laughs> so um, that'll be fun I'll probably maybe upload a picture or a video of me in my formal gown uh, it's not super formal it's I had to do what I gotta do when you're a size 30-ish or something, you know, body-wise, it's hard to find stuff that fits, so, um, I got it, it was all pre-measured, and I had it sent to me, um, and it ended up being too big, so, <laughs> my friend took it in by about three inches on the sides, so that it fits better, and I haven't tried it on yet, so we'll figure it out tomorrow <laughs> when I decide to try it on when I go to the ball, so, um, I know I had so much stuff to say and I can't even think of what all it is. Uh, I'm just enjoying my sixth floor view because there's a lot of people and it looks like they're setting up chairs outside for an event or something. I don't know what is going on, but um, yeah, y'all that have watched this, I thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> I'm not the most entertaining person, uh, except for to myself because, you know. Ooh, if you don't find yourself funny or entertaining, then uh, you're going to have a boring life because who wants to hang out with themselves when they're boring? Okay, so, um, yeah, I, hmm, oh, surgery thoughts. Um, my surgery is on the 11th of November, which is in 12 days. And, um, who they have blue ribbon fried chicken. I think of food a little bit, but I'm not really that hungry. Um, so <clears throat> I'm a little nervous about the surgery. I don't think it's really hit me though. So I'm not as nervous as I would have expected to be. So that's good, I guess. But I figure that the closer it gets, especially the last day or two, I'm probably going to be terrified. Um, I have this really weird kind of irrational fear of... Um, waking up during my surgery and <laughs> filling everything and a lot of times that's what I think about when I'm going to sleep so when I'm when I'm in surgery and they're putting me out um, so I kind of wake up with that thought still in my head and you know surgery sucks it hurts so when you wake up and there's pain anywhere I automatically think that I 
am in the middle of surgery still, and I start freaking out. But then I realize pretty quickly that I'm probably not. <laughs> so there's that stupid, stupid thought. But um, yeah, I'm here in Vegas again until Friday morning. Um, so if anybody's in Vegas and sees this, say hi, reach out, come come to the Baileys and, and say hi to me. <laughs> or, you know, don't, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm sure I have a lot more stuff to talk about, but this is already a long video, and since I'm basically going to be putting them all together, uh, I don't want to bore the crap out of people before they even look at my video. <laughs> okay, um, love you all, thanks so much for watching, if nobody's watching, again, remember self that this is where you started, this is, I mean, you know what's going on 12 days before surgery and we'll see how the surgery goes pretty sure I will record more either before my end of my trip because of the installation dinner or before I get on the plane or not who knows with me so okay love you all bye